Ground, good morning, Aztec 2441 Mike with Information Golf is at Atlantic uh, looking for a VFR departure to the east. Aztec 41 Mike, good morning. Runway uh, 30, taxi via Alpha. 30 via Alpha, 41 Mike. Got a big crane on the control tower. On our way. Clear left and right. Are you going left? We're going straight ahead this way, but we got to take off that way because of the winds. Oh. When we get to the Bahamas, we got to fly around the airport and come in against the wind. It's going to be very windy when we land in the Bahamas. Hopefully not raining though. There's a big storm. It's going to be about 10 miles to the east of where we're going. It and only it rains or storms on the day we're coming into the Bahamas yeah, only and ever. the day we're leaving. <laughs> the other That's days are it's good. Every time. Every time it goes <laughs> like that. It's fine. It's good practice. That's a big plane. Yep. Good colors. Red and black and silver. Go dogs. The last time we did this flight, the first time we were able to get our squat coat on the ground. Second time they uh, they told us they weren't able to do that. So we're just going to pick up our squat code and flight following from the air like a normal VFR flight. And otherwise, we've got our uh, EAP is filed, our flight plan filed. We should all should be teed up and ready to go. But leaving the U.S. for the Bahamas is pretty easy. So uh, otherwise, standard procedures, and uh, we'll take care of the rest on the radio in the air. Stuart Tower, Aztec 2441 Mike is uh, ready for departure, holding short runway 30. Stuart 2441 Mike, Stuart Tower, cross runway 34, runway 30, cleared for takeoff. Cross 34, runway 30, cleared for takeoff. Phone oh, Mike. Got some golfers watching us over there. Yeah, probably a nice day to golf. Not yeah. much. Love you guys. Bye. Love you. Love you guys very much. Release the brakes. Fuel flows are good. All gauges in the green. Air speed's alive times three. Now rotate. Tap the brakes. Gear coming up. Uh, Mike, you make a uh, right turn out? Right turn to the east, following Mike. See the hospital down there? Yeah. Broke a the hospital. Very first year we moved here, you got to stay right there during the hurricane. Yeah, that was my first hurricane job, right there. Right on the river. Number <laughs> two for Mike, what's the basis of those clouds? Base is right at about uh, 1,200. There are two four four one Mike. When you cross the shoreline, uh, frequency change approved. If you need Palm Beach, there one two three point six two this morning. One two three point six two at shoreline. Appreciate your help. Have a good day. Well, we got around those clouds and up above. Yep. Not so bad. No, no, it's it's working out. That sun's right here, though. Is he gonna be there the whole time? Palm Beach departure, Aztec 2441 Mike with request. Aztec 2441 Mike, there request. Aztec 2441 Mike is uh, currently five miles to the east of Stewart at the coastline, climbing through 2,500 for 7,500, uh, en route to Marsh Harbor, which is uh, Mike Yankee uh, Alpha Mike. We'd like to request flight following. Aztec 41 Mike, walk 4577. 4577, 41 Mike. November 2441, Mike, radar contact, 6 southeast of Stewart, the uh, Zero Beach altimeter 2991, say altitude. 2991, altitude currently 3,200 climbing. Is our plan to go to West End and over Grand Bahama onto the Abaco? Uh, it, it is. Um, I was going to go north, but the storms are north. You can see the big thunder clouds out that way. You can already see it going. The one option would be to go north which the first intercept there would be walkers, and we found that we follow the chain of islands down uh, to get down to Marsh Harbor, which would be a nice flight, but we'll do that when we go to Treasure instead because of the storms. So today instead, we're going to go over West End, over the, uh, the, v the Vortac at Grand Bahama, by Freeport. And then uh, straight to Marsh Harbor where we'll have to circle the land. Very similar to the route we took when we were going to Long Island. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Except for when we got to the end of Grand Bahama, we turned south. Yep. But now we just go a little bit more. Yep. Yeah, 
was not to get too close to the storms. I don't, I mean, it would have been nice, but it, it is what it is. All right, so that is uh, all there is to it, getting a code out of the U.S. Uh, out of the U.S. is very simple. Uh, you know, if you're, if you're IFR, yeah, you're going to get your clearance beforehand on the ground, but uh, going to the Bahamas, there, there's no concern about the ATIS. Um, you know, it's, it's pretty straightforward. You know, the goal here is to get out of the U.S., start thinking about your flight plan and your landing, but, you get, you know, you got to, it would be prudent to be in touch uh, with a controller so they can at least follow you along in case you have an issue. Um, so, flight plan on file, EAP is done, and uh, we are en route to Marsh Harbor, and we got our code from the air. But other than that, there's not much to do prior to the flight. So you did all the paperwork for the customs and stuff. Yeah, you do that before. If you want to be working on the sheets, there you go. Yeah, if you got a pen. All right, so there it is, the customs form. One of these for every passenger. The first time you go to the Bahamas, ask for extras. So we got four extras, and uh, Which I will give those to, to give you. you. So then the next time you don't you take up their time. You don't have to waste all their out. time. Yep. I will do this for sure. But yeah. all the other paperwork he worked on last night and... He made a video, was it last year or the yeah. year before? Oh yeah, and that's been one of our most popular videos uh, about how to do everything to get to the Bahamas. But you'd like um, to put up an actual picture of the form and explain it, so yep. kind of walks you through it. I mean, the only thing really different is COVID. There was no yeah, COVID testing. COVID's no longer relevant. And before, or the, they, they called it the Bahamas passport or whatever it was, where you had to like log in and get a, a QR code kind of yep. thing. It doesn't matter whether you're vaccinated the or not vaccinated, ministry. it's just yeah, come right. on over. We brought our masks just in case because I couldn't find a clear answer for customs <laughs> and cabs and things like that. Yeah, thank you for doing that, just to be sure. Just to be sure, but otherwise we didn't have to get tested or submit any sort of forms. And on the way back, we don't have to do that either. Which is all, it's kind of nice, we have one last thing to think about. 41 Mike, contact Miami Center, 132.15. 132.15, 41 Mike, thank you. Miami Center, Aztec, 2441 Mike, 7000 for 7500. There are 2441 Mike, Miami Center, maintain VFR, the very beach altimeter, uh, 2991. 2991, 41 Mike. All right, we're leveling out at our cruise altitude right here, 7,500, and we're crossing the ATIS as we speak. That's what that little symbol on the map means. The magenta solid line with polka dots is our, uh, is our ATIS border. So we've got nothing but water underneath us. In about, what, 15 minutes we should see west end though, right? Yeah, so we're going to back off the power for cruise here. Yeah, that's much better now that we leveled off. I can see the paper better. <laughs> Switch at six. Switch and fuel. Always fun to play with the, with the gas levers over the middle of the ocean. The more things you touch, the more problems that can occur. Just a little superstitious. But no, nope, everything's going fine. Fuel flows look good. Pump one is off. Pump two is off. Fuel flow is maintained. We're on outboards. We're going to stay on outboards until we get back home. You can see the storm straight ahead, and you can see the storms to the left, and we can't play with either of those. So, hopefully those clear out, and, uh, and we can land without having to circle. I think we're going to be going straight ahead, and once we hit Freeport, we turn left, which should us we should put us right in the pocket that looks relatively clear out there. And it's only 8-something in the morning, and it's already got some pretty tall clouds. Yeah, those are. this is that storm front. Right now we have a 32-knot tailwind, and we're right on a, on a front line. So we're going to have very windy conditions when we land. The winds are going to be at around 24 knots, and then we'll have gusts to 34 to 36 knots. Uh, depending on which weather report I w I'm referencing. That's a lot of wind, but it's yeah. right off the nose. And so later today, uh, it becomes a uh, almost 70 degree crosswind, and the wind only decreases by about two knots. And so... Um, Much rather it be under that. Yeah, we're coming in right after the clouds, but we're still going to have a pretty substantial wind gust that we have to deal with. If it's off the nose, it's much easier to deal with. So that's why we choose, chose to come earlier rather than later. But, uh, it, you know, we get plenty of practice with wind gusts living in Florida. And when it's on the nose, it's not much to worry about. So 
We're just getting this done out of the way this morning. 41 Mike, contact Miami Center, 133.4. 133.4, 41 Mike. Miami Center, Aztec 2441 Mike, it's 7,500. Silver 2441 Mike, Miami Center, free point center 29901. 29901, 41 Mike. Every time I make an ocean crossing, I always get this feeling right in the middle of the ocean that, you know, what would, what could go wrong right now? The worst possible time. And uh, I really start to be in tune with the plane right here in the middle of the ocean. That's a normal thing and automatic rough is what people call it. So if you've not made your first Bahamas flight and you get this feeling or sensation, well, I, I just want you to uh, just remember that I talked about it, know that it's normal. You're gonna have all sorts of doubts about the plane in the middle of the ocean. It's flying, it's doing what it always does. All right, we got a bunch of clouds. I can't see the island. Not yet. Well, we should be able to. We should be able to see West End now, but it's underneath those clouds. We may not be able to see it if we're over the clouds the whole time, too. Yeah. Well, that's a shame. Yeah. That was some of my favorite, like, footage is going over the islands, you know, with the tail cam. I think it's going to work out. It's going to, we're going to get some. In descent, 25 minutes. Really? Yep. It's crazy to think that it's quicker to go to the out islands of the Bahamas than <laughs> Mississippi. But Florida is a long state. Well, where we're going today in Marsh Harbor is actually considered the out islands. And so uh, they're a little less frequently visited, although I don't know that that really applies to Abacos. They, uh, they've got a cruise ship port. The Disney cruise. Like Castaway, Disney has Castaway an Castaway island. Castaway Bay, I think is what it is, like yep. right there where off of Great Abaco. There it is, there's West End. Straight down, peeking through the clouds there. We can see West End. Our first stop in the Bahamas ever. Yeah. Right there. All right, everything else is gonna start coming out on the right. Islands to the right. Nice, that's my side. And then it's gonna go back to my side. <laughs> oh yeah. November 2441, Mike, contact Miami Center, 134.2, g'day. 134.2, forward Mike. Miami Center, Aztec 2441, Mike, at 7,500. Aztec 2441, Mike, Miami Center, Roger. The free port altimeter is uh, 29901. 29901, forward Mike. Alright, we're gonna deviate a bit, we got some clouds ahead of us. All right, we're about to have Queen's Cove off to the right and Crab Key up to the left. Yeah, so all those clouds right there are this patch of green yellow right here. Miami Center, Aztec 2441 Mike. Uh, we're going to ascend 2,000 feet for weather uh, here shortly and then we'll descend afterwards. Number 41 Mike, Roger, thank you. that gap in the clouds right there. Oh, that gap's closing. Come on, Leroy, you can do it. Oh, such a good little gap. Outside of Grand Bahama. Yeah. No. Yes. Yeah, we, I gotta go a little more south for this weather, though.
Marsh Harbor, Aztec 2441 Mike, seven miles to the west, uh, inbound for full stop runway 27, entering extended left downwind, Marsh. That's cool, huh? Ah. Very definitely strong wind and pretty much straight down the runway, uh, runway 27, Marsh. Roger. Marsh Harbor, Aztec 2441 Mike, turning left base, runway 27 Marsh. Marsh Harbor, Aztec 2441 Mike, turning final 27 Marsh. Marsh Harbor, Vlad Suzy Bravo is on the left downwind 27. Bumpy. Three green, one beer. A little bit bumpy for sure. Marsh Harbor traffic, King Air 67 out of Bravo with the exact now. Ooh! Put it down hard. Oh. It did, but okay. that's alright. I put thought it he down. was like, whoop! Alright, so got a little bit slow on that one. I think I had a little more flaps out than I liked. Good, Good job, AJ. Yeah. Okay. Man, look at the control tower, it got wiped I out. Know it did. That was a bad hurricane that came a few years ago. What happened to the trees? The hurricane. They're just stiff. Alright, welcome to the Bahamas, kids! Aztec, what's up, bro? Alright, we made it. Marsh Harbor. We made it.